The Sun, the nearest star to the planet Earth, is a medium-sized star compared to other star systems in the observable universe. It happens to be the brightest object in our sky and its proximity provides heat, light and energy to maintain life on Earth. Studying the Sun has always been a great choice for scientists around the world to understand its nature and also to help understand other known stars in the universe. Hello viewers, this is Epal Curiosity. Today let us understand all about India's first solar mission program Aditya L1. This is my first video content so please share me your views in the comment below after watching the video. If you feel interested please do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Aditya L1 mission, initially known to be Aditya 1, is going to be the first solar mission program by the Indian Space Research Organization ISRO India. It was initially planned to have a payload of 400 kg class satellite, the VELC, Visible Emission Line Coronagraph, which was meant to observe only the solar corona and to place in an 800 km low Earth orbit. But in order to study the Sun more precisely, ISRO revised the mission with additional payloads and planned to insert the satellite in a halo orbit around Lagrange Point L1 instead, which is 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. A satellite placed in a halo orbit around the Lagrangian point 1 of the Sun-Earth system has the great advantage of continuously viewing the Sun without hindrances from any eclipse. As of July 2019, the mission has an allocated cost of 378.53 crore rupees, excluding the launch cost. Before continuing further, let us understand in brief what a Lagrange point is. A Lagrange point is a point somewhere in empty space within a system of two massive objects where their gravitational pull cancels each other out. This means any third object, mostly satellites, relatively much smaller than the other two will have a higher degree of stability without the need for control of thrusters or orbital corrections. The Sun-Earth system has five such Lagrange points. Amongst the five, L1 is such a point which is nearest from the Earth towards the Sun and any satellite placed in Lagrange point can orbit the Sun at the same speed as Earth staying in the same place relative to both of them. Therefore, Aditya will be put in a halo orbit, which is a periodic three-dimensional orbit at the point L1. Now coming back to the mission, let us find out what the mission objectives are, its payload, and when ISRO is planning to launch. On board the satellite, there will be seven scientific payloads, which are number one, VELC, the Visible Emission Line Coronagraph. As initially planned, the VELC system will remain the main payload but with improved capabilities. VELC is developed by the Indian Institute of Astrophysics Bengaluru and it will study the diagnostic parameters of the solar corona and the origin of the coronal mass ejections. The solar corona is the outermost region of the sun's atmosphere, extending thousands of kilometers into outer space from the sun's surface. It has a temperature of more than a million degree Kelvin, much higher than the surface temperature of around 6000 Kelvin. The reason behind such a higher temperature of the sun's corona from its surface is still an unanswered question. The corona is usually cannot be seen due to the bright light of the sun's surface without using special instruments like the coronagraph. However, it can be seen during a total solar eclipse. Number 2. The Suit Solar Ultraviolet Amazing Telescope It is developed by the Inter-University Center for Astronomy and Astrophysics, UNE. Its objective is to image the special resolved solar photosphere and chromosphere in near-ultraviolet spectrum at around 200 to 400 nanometer wavelength and measure solar irradiance variations. Photosphere is the outermost layer of the Sun where light particles are emitted and the chromosphere is the faint pink or reddish glowing extension of the sun's atmospheric envelope between the corona and the photosphere. Number 3. Aspects Aditya Solar Wind Particle Experiment It is developed by the Physical Research Laboratory Ahmedabad to study the variation of the solar wind properties as well as its distribution and spectral characteristics. 
The solar wind is a stream of charged particles, plasma, released from the upper atmosphere of the sun's corona. This high-energy particle escapes the sun's magnetic field and is scattered into the empty space towards us. But nothing to worry about and thank nature. We are very well protected by the Earth's magnetic shield, causing most of the solar wind's energetic particles to flow around and beyond us. This region that meets and blocks the solar wind is called the magnetosphere. We are alive and dynamic here on Earth because Earth's magnetosphere reacts to the sun's activity and which in turn gives us a few mind-blowing phenomena like the aurora borealis in the polar regions, also known as the northern lights. Number 4. Papa Plasma Analyzer Package for Aditya it is developed by Space Physics Laboratory of Vikram Saravai Space Center, Thiruvananthapuram, to understand the composition of solar wind and its energy distribution. So ASPAX is going to study the variations of the solar wind properties and PAPA is going to understand the composition of the plasma particles. Number 5. SOLAX Solar Low Energy X-Ray Spectrometer It is developed by ISRO Satellite Center also known as UR Rao Satellite Center of Bengaluru to monitor the X-ray flares for studying the heating mechanism of the solar corona. Number 6. High Energy L1 Orbiting X-ray Spectrometer It is jointly developed by ISRO Satellite Center and Udaipur Solar Observatory Udaipur to observe the dynamic events in the solar corona and provide estimated energy used to accelerate those charged particles during the coronal mass ejections. Sometimes, like the volcanic eruption here on Earth, the Sun spits out large bursts of charged particles, plasma, which is known as the coronal mass ejections or the solar storm. Number 7. Magnetometer. It is also jointly developed by the Laboratory for Electro-Optic Systems Bengaluru and ISRO Satellite Center to measure the magnitude and nature of the interplanetary magnetic field. The interplanetary magnetic field, commonly referred to as the heliospheric magnetic field, is a part of the Sun's magnetic field that is dragged out and carried into interplanetary space from the solar corona by the solar wind to flow and fill the solar system. Because of the Sun's rotation, the interplanetary magnetic field, like the solar wind, travels outward in a spiral pattern. Therefore, with the inclusion of these six additional scientific components to complete its objectives, the satellite will now become a 1500kg payload. It was initially planned to launch during the 2019 to 2020 time frame, but due to the revised plan for additional experiments, it is expected to launch on board ESLV XL flight by third quarter of 2022 from Sri Harikota launch site of Satish Dhawan Space Center, ISRO. Once launched, the satellite will take around 109 days to reach the halo orbit around the point L1, which is 1.5 million kilometers from the Earth. Apart from studying various phenomena of the Sun, the Aditya L1 mission will also be able to obtain images of different layers of the Sun's atmosphere, which reveals the way in which the energy is transferred from one layer to another. Thus, the Aditya L1 mission will enable a comprehensive understanding of the dynamical processes of the Sun to all the solar scientists from multiple institutions within the country and get answers to the problems in the solar physics. Thank you for watching. Jai Hind.